Malaysia has a new king, 65-year-old Ibrahim Iskandar. He is a billionaire and a Harley Davidson fan. His royal family is wildly popular and he has a million followers on Instagram. There are many intrigues and interesting details associated with this unique monarch. Who is he and how did he rise to power? How does he spend his billions? And what are the secrets behind his luxurious lifestyle? Watch the video to the end to find out. Let's get started. Malaysia is a monarchy with a unique electoral system. The country elects a new king every five years. Only nine of Malaysia's 13 states have royal families. The heads of these families take it in turns to be elected king. And now Malaysia has a new king. Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar took the oath of office at the palace and took office in a grand ceremony. His wife couldn't even hold back her tears. King Ibrahim is the head of the royal family of Johor and is considered one of the richest men in the country. He owns a vast business empire ranging from real estate and telecommunications to oil and gas. His net worth is estimated at $5.7 billion. The monarch doesn't hide his wealth. For his inauguration, he flew from his home state of Johor to the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur in his private jet, a golden blue Boeing 737. In addition to his fleet of jets, he has an extensive collection of cars and motorcycles, as well as real estate abroad. He also has several exotic pets such as tigers, lions, and crocodiles. We will continue with more details about his wealth a bit later. For now, a little about his family and personal life. Ibrahim Iskandar has ruled the Sultanate of Johor since 2010. It's the second most populous state in Malaysia with a population of over 4 million. The monarch is of Malay British descent. His father, Sultan Iskandar Ismail, ruled Johor for 29 years until his death in 2010. He was also honored to be the King of Malaysia in the late 80s. The king's mother is an Englishwoman, Josephine Ruby Trevorrow. They divorced after six years of marriage and the mother returned to England. Sultan Ibrahim has been well-educated both in Malaysia and abroad. He attended military school in the United States and is the commander-in-chief of the Johor Armed Forces. He is the only Malaysian sultan with a private army. His wife now queen is Raja Zarat Safia of the Perak royal family. She was educated at Oxford, where she studied Chinese studies. She married the heir to the throne while she was still a student. They have five sons and one daughter. The Queen speaks five languages and is the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Technology Malaysia. She has written several children's books, writes a regular newspaper column and is also involved in charity work. The eldest son, Crown Prince Ismail, was appointed interim ruler of Johor after his father became king. He is the owner of the Johor Darul Tazim Football Club, the all-time leader in Malaysian soccer. The prince graduated from the Indian Military Academy and served in the Indian Army. He is an accomplished equestrian, plays polo, and has won many trophies. The prince is also a sports car enthusiast. All of his cars are registered under the same license plate, TMG, an acronym for Tunku Makota Johor, which translates to Crown Prince of Johor. He is married and has four children. King's only daughter Amina is married to Dutch soccer player and model Dennis Verbaas and they have two children. She received her higher education at an art college in Singapore. Amina inherited her mother's talent for drawing and also launched the Royal Art of Beauty, a line of skincare kits. The other sons, following the family tradition of military training, served in the Malaysian army. Idris became vice-chancellor of the University of Malaysia. Abdul Jalil had a degree in zoology, was involved in charity work and had a passion for sailing. Sadly, he died of liver cancer in 2015. The Sultan's younger sons, Abdul Rahman and Abu Bakar, are professional racing drivers. They represent Malaysia in international competitions. In Johor, Sultan Ibrahim and his family are wildly popular. He has a million followers on Instagram, where he regularly posts about everything from his love of fast cars and motorcycles to his official royal duties. Despite his high status, King Ibrahim likes to dine with his family at local restaurants. He enjoys sharing these moments in his official TikTok. 
Sultan Ibrahim has a collection of more than 300 luxury cars, ranging from an Optimus Prime-style truck to a wooden car inspired by the Flintstones. The collection also includes a 1936 Mercedes that once belonged to Adolf Hitler who gave it to the Sultan's great-grandfather. He also has a collection of private jets, including three Gulfstreams and a gold and blue Boeing 737. In addition, Sultan Ibrahim entered the Malaysian Book of Records as the first ruler to be officially licensed to drive a train. The king enjoys polo and tennis, and his hobbies include flying cars and motorcycles. He is also known for his charity work. Under his leadership, annual motorcycle rides are held in Johor to attract tourists and raise funds for the needy. The Sultan himself has participated on many occasions and rides a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Sultan Ibrahim is a businessman known for his investments in private companies and real estate. He owns a quarter of one of Malaysia's largest mobile phone operators, U-Mobile, and a 40% stake in an oil and gas company in Johor. Sultan Ibrahim owns $4 billion worth of land in the country, including Forest City, a luxury development being built on artificial islands off the coast of Singapore. When completed, it could be worth $100 billion. Still, it is worth noting that Sultan Ibrahim's business activities seem to contradict the country's constitution, which states that the king shall not actively participate in any business venture. Incidentally, royal immunity was criticized in the 90s. This followed an incident in which King Ibrahim's father allegedly assaulted a golf caddy on the palace grounds. Public accusations of dozens of crimes, including the murder of a man, were made in parliament. The royal family of Johor did not respond to the allegations and no trial took place. Parliament later amended the constitution to allow for the prosecution of members of the royal family. King Ibrahim is known as an advocate of tolerance for other religions in a Muslim-majority country. He opposes a total ban on alcohol, the imposition of Sharia law and a conservative dress code for women. The king supports other religions by attending celebrations of Christmas and Diwali, India's major holiday. He emphasizes the need for moderation in a country with a significant Chinese and Indian population, most of whom are not Muslims. King Ibrahim said he would focus on fighting corruption and deepening unity in the country, and that he doesn't want to spend five years on the throne as a puppet king. What do you think about Malaysia's new king? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. See you soon.